Let's try this again. Phone decided to rotate on its own, so. I'm here, this is Brent with the Beer, Beer Money Pulling Team, um, here at Summit Motorsports Park in Norwalk, Ohio, uh, for the inaugural World Series of Pulling, uh, presented by Ohio Cat. Um, this is a Lucas Oil Pro Pulling League Champions Tour event. All 10 Champions Tour classes are here this weekend. Each will be pulling it twice over the course of tonight. Uh, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., uh, 1.30, I believe, and at 6.30, uh, and then Saturday at noon. And they're taking the top five in each class, and they're going to bring them back for a Saturday night championship. So um, they are just finishing up the track. The uh, track is looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to find out here in just a little bit how good the track really is. Um, it is windy, so I apologize if it is a little bit hard to hear, um, if there's any echoing from the wind. Uh, but they are going to be doing two test passes. Uh, I believe Haney's light super stock tractor. They finally got that one together this year. They're going to make a test in here. And also, uh, Jeff is going to make a test on uh, there. Uh, so, we're just getting the final track from here. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be taking it in just a few minutes. Uh, they're planning to do it before the drive meeting. It's at 3.30. So, hopefully, here in just a little bit, we will be uh, doing those test passes. Just tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday night will be live stream on FlowRacing.com. Bird, Mad TV, and Flow Racing have partnered, and all of Mad TV's, uh, Mad TV Plus's live streams are now being done on Flow Racing. Uh, if you had a subscription, if you had a yearly subscription, you will be getting a refund. Uh, you should have gotten an email talking about that, um, but you can get a yearly subscription to Flow Racing for $150 a year. Uh, that gets you all sorts of things. There's, I mean, there's different sports other than just motorsports. There's football, baseball, basketball. I mean, there's stuff for high school sports. Um, but then there's, I mean, sprint cars, late model racing, and all that that you also get, as well as all the Lucas Oil Pro Pulling League events that are being live streamed this year. Um, you can do a yearly subscription. You just can't do it under the flow race or the racing sport. You have to go find um, like track and field or basketball or some of like that and sign up for the monthly subscription. If you pay for one sport, you get all sports. So um, that is a workaround to get the monthly subscription, and that's thirty dollars a month. Uh, but yeah, the, the pits just got back from walking those, and it's. It's filling up quick. Uh, there is a lot, a lot of good competitors back there. A um, couple I wa wasn't really expecting to see. Um, one of them, Mike Beck is here. He's gonna be pulling the unlimited super stock class. Um, it looks like Tommy Owens and Dylan Owens are here with their mods. Uh, they're gonna be hooking in the super modified tractor class. Um, I believe they have, I, I, I'm assuming they have both of them, but I'm not sure if they have Dylan's tractor together. Uh, they did buy a chassis off of Wayne Purser. But it's uh, shaping up to be an awesome show. This is one absolutely, I, I, you can't even put into words how amazing this facility is. Uh, I was told that this facility can hold in the upper 30,000 people um, underneath me. I'm standing on top of the media center. Uh, media center, so obviously I'm a photographer. I mean, they have royalty here. Uh, they have an air conditioned building that we can be in with power and wireless for us to do any of our work that we need to. Uh, they have food for us at all times. They have drinks for us at all times at free of charge. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing here. But this is uh, this facility. I, I can't even tell you how awesome it is. Um, right now you may hear over the loudspeaker, it's Bill Bader, I believe, that is talking. I've had an opportunity to uh, talk with a handful of pullers. So we are uh, to some just getting ready. As you can see, uh, uh, and, uh, 
to the decision maker. Mini Rod Sled is uh, getting ready to get onto the track. So they will be pulling from uh, from the eighth mile out to where the tree would be on the starting line. But what I heard is it's going to be two tracks for a, a certain number of footage. And that is going to change into one track. Um, that's what I heard. I don't know if that is true. So essentially there's gonna be two tracks, but they're only gonna allow one puller at a time because at the end it's gonna change the one track, a wider track at the end, uh, so that they are going 30 plus miles an hour and they're two feet from the bottom. So, because otherwise they'd be putting about 25 foot wide tracks. Uh, the quality of their product, Again, not 100% sure if that's uh, true or not. We'll see when they get the chalk lines laid down. We'll see how it goes tonight. And, uh, again, tonight is actually going to start at 6.30. So if you haven't been paying attention to this, um, I believe on Sunday they did... This the drag strip was prepped and had drag hoses just a few days prior. And uh, they they went and they scraped and, uh, up through the, the starting line. So uh, thank you um, so very much. Actually, they even back by like, the firm, and, uh, firm boxes all the way down to the eighth mile. They scraped all play. of the prep off the track uh, here are the next three days. and right down to the concrete. And they laid down 1,400 sheets of plywood if, uh, for 400 feet. They then for, laid layers of dirt, she put it in and uh, made a bunch of water and it worked this track in. And he did that in about three days they got the track fully together. They've been working on it pretty much all day yesterday and today. So hats off to the whole crew. All Jim Miller, uh, Travis. He's, uh, Travis is the same guy that does uh, Ship Shawana indoor events. Um, he's out there somewhere. Uh, but Jim Miller, he's uh, Stuff, so. Well known in the polling community uh, for not building good tracks, so and they did a good job of getting of this one together. Looks now. good. Um, but, uh, sun's kind of beating down here, but luckily we do have a good breeze. So hopefully we won't drive this track out too much. Lucas Oil PPL World Series of Pulling for uh, many, many years to come. Uh, Lucas Oil PPL World Series of Pulling for many, many years to come. They put a lot of water in this, and so hopefully, hopefully, yeah, it's a good track. And we're, uh, we're getting closer to uh, these. He's test passing here, so just uh, stick with us here. And there's still a lot of pullers. There's still pullers rolling in. I, when I walk down the pits, they have a staging area for when you roll in that you wait in line for somebody to come get you and put you, put you in your spot. So there was uh, about a half dozen of them just waiting there. So and they just keep rolling in. Um, if you are coming here, um, make sure to put on some shoes for walking because. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but so I'm at pretty much at the starting line, and pretty much right behind these grandstands is where, where the pits start. And they go all the way down there. You're all the way to the end of the runoff area. So, I mean, you're, it's a close, close, I don't know, probably two thirds of a mile, uh, if I had to guess. So, if you're going to want to walk the whole pits, you're going to be walking a good amount of ways. So, uh, the whole pit area is blacktopped as well. Um, behind me here, this is the VIP area. They have a little grass area and some bleachers. Um, and camping goes all the way back down over there. Um, this is uh, some VIP area as well. And I, believe there's our seating. I think there's some general mission maybe down here. And then there's some more reserve seating up over here. Back over there is the parking area and it goes all the way back So just a big, big ground. This is, uh, like I said, this is a first class facility here. Um, they just, uh, depending on how this, uh, how the fans turn out to this, obviously the pullers are already here. The pullers have absolutely shown up for this event. Um, and hopefully the fans do as well. Because uh, as long as everything goes smoothly, I think this is gonna turn into something big, so. If you can't make it, again, tune into the live stream on flowracing.com. Uh, if you are coming here, today is just general admission for tonight, so you can just pick and choose wherever you want to be. Tomorrow they will have the assigned seating um, as they expect bigger crowds. Uh, I 
don't don't quote me on what ticket prices are i want to say reserve seating was like 45 bucks maybe uh, for all day so if you come tomorrow there's three sessions um, but if you are if you are just coming for tomorrow night unfortunately i believe it, it's also 45 dollars so uh, that is one that. Uh, but yeah it's a uh, it's gonna be a great poll so if you guys can support this event please do also this weekend we have Chapel Hill going on so there are uh, there are some pullers here that I'm not sure if they're gonna go down there or not um, but there are a couple that are here that are on the list for down in down in Chapel Hill um, Jamie I am not video I might video one day I'm not sure yet um, I might video all day tomorrow but otherwise actually i'm right where this is where mike post is going to be for jp pulling productions that's uh jesse post's dad so he'll be up here you can see jesse's actually down down there by built these mafia and adam wilson so they will they'll definitely be videoing this event they'll have it covered um as well as this will be uh, videoed for map tv plus recorded or map tv um and I'd assume that will also be part of the NBC, I believe they do. The NBC Sports or CBS Sports or those telecasts as well. Let's see if I can scroll through these comments. I was not paying attention to any of them that were coming in. The sun's kind of bright, so it's hard to see my phone. I don't know which direction it is. Obviously, I'm not going around here. And I don't pay attention to which way it's which, but whatever that way is, so they're going from there down to the starting line. So, eight miles to the starting line if you're on the drink. I believe Tim, you are also going to be here. And this is like your neck of the woods. Uh, Rob, yeah. Uh, I think it'd be cool if you know more of these uh, venues that have these big, big facilities to pick up and stuff like this. I mean, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of money. Uh, I just heard right before I went live, uh, Bill Bader was saying over the announcer that he spent six figures just pretty much in getting track equipment here to build this track. If you have any questions just uh, put them in the comments uh, let me know if you're gonna be here tonight again 6 30 uh, it's the start time Eastern time just doing a little bit final track prep again you can see uh, the crew for it's still the math TV crew uh, just just doing it for flow racing Got another one down over there. Uh, you have the jib operator down there. Not sure. Not sure if they got any more cameras around or not, but got some pullers. You see uh, Stuart and Jack Mays down there. Yeah, this is a great turnout so far. Like I said, it's uh. It's pretty incredible. Uh, and if you do actually come here, they are renting golf carts. Uh, they have a slight number of golf carts. I believe they're $250 for the weekend. Um, otherwise, obviously, if you're camping, you can bring your own. This is a facility. I'm excited to see uh, to see that actually about when i first got here um i rolled in at about just after and i came up uh up, up here and on the track probably 40 minutes later there's already a few people just sitting there saving their spots so pretty cool to see 
I know there's a big, big buzz in the drag racing community to see, see how this goes. I know there's a lot of people excited to see see what happens here, and obviously some drag racers are upset that they've covered their track in dirt. See, they're worried that they won't be able to get it back in the same condition that it was, but knowing uh, this crew that they have here and, and the operation that they're running, with, I think they're they don't have to worry about it. Kerbal, where are you at? Uh, Joe Fox, uh, the way I'm, this is the starting line right here. I'm not going to be pulling down this way to where the starting line of the drag strip would be. So where that block is, right there, uh, right in front of that is right where the tree would be. They also are going to be doing fireworks tomorrow night and Saturday night. Supposedly it's like the Bader special as they have one hell of a fireworks show here. I'm not really sure. Normally they actually do them up here. Um, supposedly that they are going to be doing the fireworks show across the street this year somewhere. That uh, is what I was told. Um, let's kind of walk you around back here. So this is the staging area for the drag strip. So normally when they uh, come up to the starting line, they got their lanes. So this would be uh, the staging area. All right, so Jeff Hurt's going to be making this test set right here. Going to be the first vehicle down this track. I don't know if you can hear Bill on the on the mic there, but at approximately 320, 2022. So again, this is Lil Bear, this is Jeff Hurt out of Fort Clinton, Ohio. Uh, he also has the Running Bear Unlimited Super Stock here. Um, he also has another Super Stock called Fastlane that he's doing something with. Uh, you can see some pictures of that, not sure what's going on there. Uh, this was the Green Street Black Tractor, bought from Boyd. Uh, so PPL runner-up last year, in your class. Just lost it at Eatland. And, uh, was the Honka Donkey Black before that? Or the Honka Donkey Grand? One of them. Super assuming uh, they're able to get a lift. First pass. Uh, so I believe that will be the next one up. Not sure. I'll see the big slide. It's hanging out down here actually. Sorry, Shelby. I can't control the wind. I'm on a phone and I am about 100 feet off the ground, so. It is windy. 10 to 20 mile an hour winds is what's up.
Apologize for the wind, it is really kicking in right now. But I'm gonna stay alive here for the light super stock. Obviously, you can see Brandon Bungart backing up the Bungart Motorsports Protect the Harvest Sled. So we'll get one more hook in here. Let's see uh, Jeff coming off the track. Should say his tracker, he's just sitting in his motor. Oh, it's beautiful down here. Perfect. It's this is awesome weather. This wind actually is helping keep things cool. Otherwise it's gonna be pretty hot. It's, uh, but it's a uh, very good temperature out. I mean, it's 85 probably if I had to say with a nice good wind to keep things cool. So make sure to come on out. Again, yeah, 6:30 tonight, Eastern Time. Can't make it, flowracing.com will have all the action. And again, hats off to the Bader family and everybody involved here at Summit Motorsports Park. This uh, facility is top notch. They've done an excellent job getting this track together. Jim Miller and Tra Travis, they, uh, Travis Hostler, he, uh, again, he's the Chip Shawana guy, the dirt guy there. And uh, Jim Miller is just, uh, just a phenomenal track builder and they've really done something special here to get the track together on top of this drag strip. So. Not many, not many people are able to say the that they can get. Is that correct? Has spoken. You're okay there now. Not many people can say that they can that convert draw. a track drag we racing strip control. into a uh, into a pulling track in just a couple days. And or I guess I'm going to be what seems like should be a pretty good pulling track. So. Again, looking forward to all the action tonight. I'm gonna try to remember what the classes are. Even in super modified tractors, mini rod tractors, pro stock tractors, unlimited super stock tractors, and pro mod four wheel drive trucks. Um, tomorrow morning, I believe, is super modified two wheel drives, uh, light super stocks, and what is the other one? I think uh, light super stock, and then the afternoon. It is. Yeah, it's don't even ask me. It's uh, somewhere. And look who just showed up. It's uh, hello. Brian Thurston's here. Another one of our polling photographers that will have a bunch of awesome coverage this weekend. For all the information on this event too guys, uh, tune into the Kinsoa Pro Polling League Facebook page and the website ProPolling.com. Uh, it does have all, it does have the schedule and the times uh, for each session. Uh, you'll catch up with all the lineups. There should be live results as well on the PPL website. If you go on there, you should see a banner that says uh, live results. Uh, it's got a picture of Rick Peters. Uh, go ahead and click on that and you should get to the live results as well as the lineups. Jesse Post will be posting uh, posting the winners on the page as well. Uh, there will be uh, winner videos and, and posts all weekend long. So again, we have this awesome media center that we can do all sorts of stuff, right? Great between sessions. So uh, hats off to to this facility and the Bader family for for having something like that here and us being able to utilize it. So just makes uh, covering this event that much better. Again, I believe this is uh, Haney's tractor. I believe it's Haney's tractor. I'm pretty sure. 
Again, I just caught a glimpse of it when I was walking the pit, so you were going across the scales. The best thing here too guys is uh, you can hear anywhere on this. I was all the way at the end of the track and they were talking and you could hear every single word that was coming out of the speaker system. So that was pretty cool too. So you can be anywhere on this on these grounds and you will hear whatever is coming out of that speaker system. You can see uh Chizix just showed up, that's actually their trailer over there. But here's uh Haney's Lake Superstock, first run of the year. Again, that was their first time out this year with that tractor. They, it's kind of redone. Uh, talked to him during the off season a little bit and they uh, made a lot of changes to it. So, hooked up pretty well. Again, just got, kind of got off balance and upset the tractor. So hopefully nothing too bad. Hopefully they can- uh, the shortest point between two distances is this way, this way, this way, this way. Yeah, so hopefully they can uh, get it fixed up for tomorrow. Um, it did sound like it was uh, kind of running on its own there. It did pull the kill. Uh, what I can tell. I have been down this racetrack in a lot of different pieces of equipment, but I have never been down anything like that. Well, again, guys, I'm going to call it here. Show starts at 6.30 tonight. Eastern time, flowracing.com will have all the live action of the evening sessions only. Uh, tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday night for the championship. Um, all the information will be found at propolling.com. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in, and hopefully you guys make it out or uh, tune in through the live stream. We'll catch you later.